Hello ladies and gentlemen, Riley the Flame Wookie Cookie here again with another video. This is going to be my review of Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Um, the actual review of this was actually done way back whenever the game came out. I did it about 40 days after it came out. And um, However, I'm just getting around to releasing the video because I just got access to the footage again. So this intro was actually done in real time and the outro. So um, here it goes. The campaign has a decent story this time around, but I'll save you the spoilers. Basically, stuff went down in the 2050s, and now the 2060s are completely cocked over. The soldiers have the ability to enter people's minds using a brain implant called a DNI. We fight alongside some characters including Kane, Hendrix, and Taylor, each having barely any character development. The game mentions that Hendrix dated Kane at one point, or something. Who cares? Long story short, things happen, people die, and stuff blows up. In addition, there is a free run mode, which allows you to run through four time trials, each one harder than the last. Basically, you just use your jump and wall run abilities and just go through these trials. The multiplayer is exactly what you'd expect from a Call of Duty game nowadays. You get less modes than before, and the maps aren't as cool as before. Weapons seem to do less damage and fire slower. You can play custom games, competitive, bonus, core, hardcore, and you can use theater mode. However, I gotta admit, the addition of wall running is badass and useful. However, I must warn you, the servers for this game are broken, and you will get kicked out of dozens of lobbies, and can even be stopped from playing offline by an annoying screen. And yes, I saved the best for last, the zombies mode. The zombie map Shadows of Evil is decently sized and features lots of cool weapons and enemies to find. There is plenty to do and lots of places to explore. It takes three hits to get down now instead of two, and this helps so much, but just delays your inevitable fate once you get cheaply stuck or slapped all at once. Also, I should mention the difficulty has been raised significantly since the last game, increasing the zombie count by at least a trillion percent. Lastly, Ron Perlman. Why did you kill? So in conclusion, it's more of the same. Some would debate it's better than the other Call of Duty games. Some would say that it's not as good. Uh, personally, I think that there were some interesting improvements, but Zombies is interesting to say the least. It was pretty fun, but I don't know, I guess I'm more of a traditional Zombies player. Multiplayer was quite innovative, and Free Run is, well, surprisingly, kind of addicting. Uh, campaign was fun, and after doing, after the bulk of this review was done, they actually added Nightmares mode, which is like a campaign mode but with zombies, and Dead Ops Arcade 2, which is pretty awesome. This is Ben Ratley playing Wookie Cookie. I'll catch you guys next time.